my magical friends, I'm Cal Mingo. Now today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the first 25 marker locations inside of Find the Markers. And I will be doing them in order from the list, so I'm gonna be doing all 25 of these markers right here. But let's go ahead and start with the first marker, which is the purple marker. Now this one is pretty easy, this one is in the middle of the spawn right here. Now the second marker is the archer marker, so go ahead and follow this path I take right here over to this giant clock tower. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go behind the clock tower, climb up this ladder right here, head over to the front and climb up this ladder and you're gonna step into into the clock at the wall which is gonna teleport you over to a medieval area now once you get over here you want to go ahead and go to the right of the castle and you're gonna find the archer marker right here now the third marker is the baby marker now to get this one all you gotta do is you have to head over to the exact same area over by the clock tower and you want to go into the first house on the left and head upstairs and once you get upstairs they'll be right here like underneath the bed now the fourth marker is the ball marker now this one is going to be in the middle of spawn it could be anywhere in these four corners for me it's in this corner over here so let's go ahead and touch it and we now have the ball marker now the next one is the b marker now to get this one what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn around head over to this forest area right here and behind this giant house right here there should be a beehive with a b marker outside of it and just go ahead and touch that and now you have the b marker now the next one is the big orange marker now to get this one you will need the baby marker so make sure you have this one and once you get the baby marker go ahead and you want to head over towards the forest up to that giant mountain over there and once you get over here you want to go ahead and climb this ladder up into the cave and over in this there should be eggs right here go ahead and touch those it'll teleport you over into a room where you can get the big orange marker now the next marker is the black marker now to get this one you want to head over to that exact same mountain over in the corner Climb up this ladder right here, and you want to head down into this corner, and you want to rub against this wall, where it will teleport you into this room. And here you can grab the black marker. Now the next marker is the bone marker. Now get this one, you want to head over to the exact same mountain over here. And once you come ladder, you want to go ahead and head over here instead of inside the cave. And in this back corner, you should find the bone marker right here. Now the next marker is the brown marker. Now to get this one, you want to head over into the forest and head over to the exact same mountain again. Climb up the ladder, you want to head into the cave, you want to jump up onto this ledge, and you want to walk around over here, and you should find the brown marker up in this cove. This is right above the black marker, so black marker is down there, and the brown one is up here. Now the next one is the cactus marker. Now to get this one, you want to head over to the desert corner over here. And once you get over here, there should be a this right underneath this obstacle course where you should find the cactus marker hiding right here. Now the next marker is the capitalist marker's cab. And what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna turn around, head over into the forest, and follow this path over to the giant factory. And there should be the cap right here for you to collect. This is right in front of the factory right here. So the next one is the carpet marker. To get this one, you wanna go ahead and turn around and you wanna head inside of this building right here inside the forest. And you should find the marker right here on the floor. The next one is the coral marker. Now to get this one, you wanna head over here to the water area with a giant shack on top of it. And you wanna go into the water to this coral right here. This is directly below the house, by the way. But you can collect it right here and you should be able to get the coral marker. Now the next one is the crystal marker. To get this one, you wanna go ahead and head over here inside of the cave. And inside the cave, there should be this little hole right here by the entrance. You wanna go ahead and walk in there, and at the very end, you should find the crystal marker. Now the next one is the dark blue marker. To get this one, you wanna head over to the water house over here. And in this corner on the left side, you should find the dark blue marker hiding in the corner right 
right here. Now the next marker is the dragon marker. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna head over to the giant clock tower over this village. You head over to the back, climb up this ladder, Head over to the front, climb up this ladder, and you want to teleport into the clock like that. And once you get here, you want to go ahead and climb this giant stone mountain o over here. All the way up to the top. And once you get to the top, you want to go ahead and jump in here. You want to fall all the way down, and you should be able to find the dragon marker right here. He's super scary in his dragon's den. Now, the next marker is the dream marker. To get this one, you want to head over to the village with the giant clock tower. And the second house on the right, you should go upstairs and you'll be able to find the dream marker on top of the bed. Now, the next marker is the dummy marker. Now, to get this one, what you're going to want to do is you want to head over into the cave again. And at the very back of the cave, you should see a dummy NPC. You're going to want to touch that. It will teleport you if you touch it enough. And there should be the dummy marker right here. Now, the next one is the explode marker. To get this one, what you're going to do is you and over into the Christmas corner in the far right corner. And all the way over here, there should be a die button. So what you're gonna do is you wanna click the button, you will explode, and you will get the explode marker. That is such a dramatic marker, to be honest. Now, the next one is the fire marker. Now, in order to get this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn around and head over into the forest house right over here. Head into the fireplace, turn around, and you should be able to find the fire marker. Now, the next one is the firefly marker. Now, to get this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head up and touch the clock in the clock tower. So, just follow this path right here. And once you touch the clock tower, it's gonna teleport you over to the medieval area. Now you're gonna head over to the swamp over in this corner, and the firefly is gonna be in the tree right up there. Now the best way to get this one is to come over here and jump for the lily pad. And if you have a little bit of difficulty, just stand here for a bit and once it keeps jumping you, rotate your camera over, and when you jump up in the air, go ahead and move forward, and you should be able to pick up the firefly marker right there. You might need to wiggle for a bit, but just to go over it one more time, go ahead and head to this corner, jump onto the lily pad, just wait for a second, rotate your camera over to the tree, and once you bounce up like this, move forward and you should bounce you correctly into the tree. Now the next marker is the fishbowl marker. Now in order to get this one, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn around and head over into the forest house and on the table right over here you should be able to find the fishbowl marker now the next marker is the ghost marker in order to get this one what you're gonna do is you're gonna head inside of the clock tower just head through the front door climb up the staircase and then climb up this ladder right here and once you get to the very top go ahead and jump and walk backwards and you should be able to get the ghost marker now the next marker is the gingerbread marker and what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the Christmas area. And once you get over here, just go ahead and follow this path like right over here. Avoid the chocolate river because you can fall in. It'll teleport, it'll teleport you back to spawn. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over into this gingerbread house right over here. And you should be able to find the gingerbread marker right there. And for the very last marker, the grass marker, what you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to the giant mountain over in the corner. And just follow this path right here. Now, once you get to the ladder, you should be able to find the grass marker right over here in the, in the middle of the grass. But there we go. That is the very first 25 markers in the game. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know down in the comments. And I'll try my best to answer them. But thank you so much for being here, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!